Heidi ho In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at this particular function and trying to identify the zeros and their multiplicities. So first thing is, what in the world do they mean by zero? Do they mean literally zero? No, they actually mean the x-intercept value. Why? I have no idea. But that's what they mean. So what is an x-intercept? Well, it's just going to be the, the values of x where the function intersects, crosses, or touches that x-axis. So if you notice, I have an x value of negative 3 there, an x value of negative 2 there, and an x value of 1, all places in which case the function, or the graph, crosses that x-axis. All right, so let's write them down. Negative 3, negative 2, and 1. These are the zero values. Okay, that's it. The next thing is to then identify the multiplicity. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to I tell you about the pattern. All right. Um, if you want to understand why certain multiplicities arise, check out the link in the description below. I have a detailed analysis of that. All right. So the idea here is that when the graph actually literally crosses that x-axis, okay, when it crosses it, it's going to be an odd multiplicity. So the graph crossed the x-axis there, the graph crossed the x-axis there, and it crossed the x-axis there. So therefore, it crossed the x-axis everywhere, and everywhere it's odd. Well, it didn't really cross it everywhere, right? Because everywhere then, if it crossed the x-axis, actually, that's not really possible, if you think about it. It's not possible to cross the x-axis everywhere, um, because the only way to touch the x-axis the whole time is to have a line on that, but that's not really cr crossing it, right? It's on the x-axis. Enough of the philosophy. So if you notice, these three points cross, at these three points, the function crosses. Okay, you might say, well, is there any other way? Sure there is. It could have just come up to that point and then bounced back down, what I call a little, little bounce or bump. All right, if it bumps, then it's even. If it crosses, it's odd. So you got all crossing here going on. Now, if you notice the nature of the crossing here is different. One of them is not like the other, right? This one, this one is not like the other. So these two should probably have the same multiplicity. And this one is a little odd, <laughs> no pun intended. So how do we now determine, you know, the value? Because there's a whole lot of odd numbers out there, one, three, five, seven, right, etc. Well, when the graph crosses that x-axis and it almost looks linear, all right, like it doesn't snake, like this one's snaking, it's the lowest odd number you know. So one, the number is going to be one, the multiplicity will be one. So for the zero at negative three, the multiplicity is one, the zero at negative two, the multiplicity is one. But now when we get to the zero value at x equals one, you see how it does a little snake. Now, this one's kind of hard to differentiate because this could be now a third power. I mean, it could be a fifth power, but it probably would be a little flatter. It could be a seventh power, but that would be even flatter still. So usually this pattern here or this shape where it's flat a little bit, not that flat, um, is going to be the next lowest odd value, uh, which would be a, a value of three. So that will have a multiplicity there of three. And again, you know, it's like, how do you know that it's not, not five? Well, I don't know it for certain, but I do know it based off of, you know, seeing a lot of examples visually, right? I mean, how do you know when you look at someone else, right? How do you know when you look at that person sitting next to you that he or she is a human? I don't know. Humans have similar characteristics, right? You just recognize that over time. It's the same thing here. It's like, how do I know that that's three and not five? Well, they just have different shapes to them. The fifth is going to be a little flatter. Okay. But that's all there is to it. All right. So literally, this is as easy as identifying a human. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you can hit those buttons, like and subscribe, maybe even tell some of your classmates. All right. We really appreciate all the support that you have given us. We wouldn't be here without you. And we really do truly appreciate each and every one of you. All right. Leave a comment. Say hi. Let us know if you liked the video. Check out our channel, by the way, because we've got thousands of videos. Not only math, but chemistry, physics, a lot of other stuff coming. Bye-bye.